Thank you, Allison. Um, it's a real thrill uh, for me to be able to say just a few words about my colleague and friend, Dr. Garrett McNeil. I'm going to let him put his jacket on here. <laughs> uh, there's, there's a lot of different things we can say about Dr. Garrett McCainge, uh, some of which I can report publicly and some not. Uh, but let me just say that uh, the, the one thing that you would know about Garrett if you spent any time at Hendricks at all uh, is that he's a superb lecturer and master teacher. Um, and please. You may not know that uh, when Garrett earned his PhD at Emory University, which is also the school that, that uh, I attended for graduate school, I actually knew Garrett's mentor, uh, Dr. J. Russell Major, one of the great early modern Europeanist historians of uh, the 20th century. And Russell Major once told me, when he knew I was applying for a job at Hendricks, well, I think McCainch is there. He's a good man. If it's good enough for him, you ought to applaud. <laughs> attention to the man behind me. <laughs> yeah. But what I can also tell you, though, about here is that we shared over the years a conversation in which Professor Major kept nudging Garrett to write the big book on Western civilization. And it occurred to me this week that what Garrett has done over the past 38 years or so is written a big book from the medieval period to contemporary Europe. And what makes it all the better as a book is that his students got to see him construct that narrative live and in the classroom, not simply by reading it. It is a triumphant achievement for which we should recognize him. The second thing that you should know about Garrett is something that maybe we know better as his faculty colleagues than you who had him as students. Uh, Garrett has really taught all of us, and I include myself in this, how to be a good college. It is an article of faith, I think, in this community that uh, the history department has one of the most collegial and warm environments among the faculty of any group. This is not a mistake. Uh, Dr. David Larson, Dr. Garrett McCain have cultivated that, have taught us how to be supportive of each other and concerned for each other, and that is a value that we have learned. Garrett has served incredibly well in any number of capacities, from department chair to social science area chair, and always with the maximum of integrity and respect, even from those few people uh, who have the not so good sense to disagree with him. <laughs> I could go on in this vein for several hours. The, uh, the final. Another thing that, that you would need to know about Garrett, of course, uh, is that he is, in the absolute uh, most broad sense of the word, a friend of Hendricks, a friend of the college. There is nothing really that Garrett has not done for this community, from going on orientation trips with students, to doing fundraising, uh, to developing Western intellectual traditions, which I have to say was a masterwork of a course held together by Garrett's vision and intellectual temperament. Um, and, and again, that, that template, interdisciplinary study uh, in the humanities, a historically based course, uh, is something that Hendricks carries to this day and I think will be an incredibly important part of, uh, of the McCain legacy. Sorry, Garrett. <laughs> I know. So in this, uh, <laughs> but in this, uh, in this spirit, we have a little something that we would like to unveil. Garrett, if you would uh, come over, and Professor Berryman, if you would uh, do the honors. I can... Oh my. <laughs> Bill C. will now be the Dr. Garrett L. McCage lecture room. Here, here. Uh,
say anything. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you, Gary. Okay.